The Nintendo Switch 2 is dominating headlines right now, and that can only mean one thing. People really like making stuff up. No, but seriously, the Nintendo Switch 2 is dominating headlines right now, and there's several reports that are worth taking a look at, as well as a potential leak for the release date for the Nintendo Switch. So, some of it could be real, some of it could not be, we don't know, but there's just a lot of news dominating right now, so it's worth taking a look at. So I want to go over those, talk about what we could potentially be seeing in this system, and give you my thoughts and opinions on those. So, I hope you enjoy this thorough discussion on the Nintendo Switch 2. Let's get into it. Alright, so this first report comes to us from CNBC, Switch 2 console this year, here's what to expect. And the most interesting thing about this report is the fact that it's coming from CNBC. For a major news outlet to be covering this particular topic, I think speaks volumes as to what could be coming down the pipeline for Nintendo Switch. So let's get into the article here a little bit. There's a couple of things that are worth mentioning. So the first thing that pops up for me is the fact that Revenue fell 4% year over year and the profit dropped 19% per the September quarter results from 2023. And so that's somewhat interesting. You know, there was some belief that the Nintendo was holding on to the Nintendo Switch 2 because the Switch sales were doing so good, so they didn't want to ruin any of the momentum. So now that sales seem to be taking a little bit of a hit, you know, this would be a good time for Nintendo to come out, unveil their new system, and start moving towards its release later this year. They go ahead and quote Dr. Sirkin Toto, CEO of Tokyo-based games consultancy Canton Games. You know, he so he says that the new device is expected to come out in 2024, and we're going to see more of him later in some of the other reports. You know, they go on to mention some of the obvious, right? The Nintendo Switch is almost seven years old. It will be in March. All right, so if we scroll down here to the what do we know about the Switch 2, we don't really know much of anything. Uh, some of the interesting quotes that came from Cirque and Toto you know, drastically improve the specs over seven years. I think there's definitely an expectation they're going to release a successor. And so the interesting piece to take away from Toto's quotes here is him saying, you know, it's an evolution, not a revolution uh, in the console strategy. So again, this is really mostly just his opinion as opposed to facts. But what he's saying here is they're kind of taking the Wii U approach. Hey, you know, we've got a good thing with the Nintendo Switch. Let's just modify and improve instead of an overhaul like we got going from the Wii U to the Nintendo Switch. So that definitely gives me a little bit of caution, but everyone's liked the Switch. So can they really go wrong with that? Who knows? The next article comes to us from Kotaku, and I think... Pretty sure there were several outlets that covered this, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Kotaku article about it, where they're talking about how the there are major Nintendo games going out of stock, and that includes Super Mario Odyssey. So that's definitely a flagship title for the Nintendo Switch that came out. That came out pretty shortly after the launch of Switch. And so if we scroll down here, they included a list of games that are that have been released for the Nintendo Switch that are currently out of print. So. Paper Mario, The Origami King, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Link's Awakening, Pikmin 3. Metroid Dread is interesting because that's only a handful of years old. I know that that was something that definitely revived the Metroid series for many Nintendo fans. Kirby Star Allies, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Who Really Cares About Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Engage. Now, Engage is interesting because that game was within a year of being released it came out on january 20th 2023 so even at the point of the release of this video it's not even a year old and it's already gone out of print yoshi's crafted world wario Wear, nintendo switch sports mario odyssey splatoon 2 mario maker 2 and another recent release mario strikers battle league i think that's if it's not within a year it's you know within two years so you can see, I mean, these are some pretty important titles for the Nintendo Switch. You know, yeah, you're not seeing Breath of the Wild here of the Kingdom, stuff like that, but any of the Pokemon games. But these are important games, and so why would they be going out of print? Now, I, I've, I've seen some discussion on this talk about, well, they're potentially bringing Nintendo Select back, but, you know, what if they're preparing for dual release for these games coming out on the nintendo switch 2 what if that's part of the strategy so that's kind of what this article is implying that you know 
the Switch 2 rumors of it coming this year are being bolstered as major Nintendo games go out of stock and they start preparing to potentially do or release these games on the successor. So something interesting and continues to pile on. The third article we're going to look at here, I had it pulled up to where the quote is, but was um, interviews conducted by gamesindustry.biz. So if we come down here to Dr. Sirk and Toto, again, CEO of Canton Games, so the important thing for me here is his prediction that the Switch 2 will come in at $400 and it's, you know, he so he says he can't really say a pro model or he can't say for sure that a pro model did exist and certain developers will work with the dev kit, but he does believe that the Switch 2 will come in at $400. There's a high chance that games will cost more to it, $70, which somewhat makes sense. Not surprising i mean it's interesting because we're potentially learning more about the successor to the nintendo switch but a 400 dollars price point makes sense you assume that they're going to have better specs and that's actually in the next report we're about to cover but you assume that it's going to be a better piece of hardware a little closer to the times and so with the nintendo switch oled itself being 350 dollars if this system's more powerful then 400 dollars is a good selling point for the Nintendo Switch 2. The only counter that comes to my mind about this $400 price point is that Nintendo likes to make their systems affordable. They like the ability for families to go out, get systems, potentially, you know, if they release variants, still feel like they didn't spend too much on the first one to be able to go get those variants. So, you know, that's why you might have a Switch and a Switch Lite, or you got a Switch and then you got a Switch OLED. And that's because the systems were affordable. Now, whether or not Nintendo deems 400 US dollars to be affordable, I think that is certainly up for debate. I wouldn't be surprised if the Switch 2 space model came in at 350 on launch day, but $400 makes sense. I certainly don't think it would sell for more than $400. $400 is definitely the ceiling for what this thing would go at. But I personally, I, if I had to make a prediction, I would say it's going to come out at $350 just to get people in the door to purchasing the system. For I mean, saying $400 is a lot, or I mean, maybe they do $399, but I don't think they want a four being the first number in the price. So I, I with the Switch base model being $300, I could see 399, I think 350, but it's going to be somewhere around there and it's definitely not going to be above $400. The last article we're going to talk about before we get to the big thing, I mean, I guess it's an article, but it was more of a press release, is Go Nintendo talking about the specs for the Switch 2 and again talking about this $400 price point. So they say that the Switch 2 is going to come with an NVIDIA. T239 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, greatly improved battery life, 120 hertz screen refresh rate, and again, there's that price of $400. And so the T239 processor NVIDIA chip, I'm not qualified enough to talk about that, so I'm going to leave that to somebody else. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. Now, with the storage, I think 64 gigabytes is the storage for the Nintendo Switch OLED, so that's not exactly revolutionary, but I think that kind of adds some credibility to the support. You know, it's not sensational as saying, oh, there's going to be 512 gigs of storage. You know, there's going to be a terabyte, of, you know, that none, none of that's coming out. So 64 for Nintendo honestly does sound about right in their base model, and I could see maybe down the road they do, uh, you know, Switch to OLED and maybe they do 128, but to be seen. Um, what I think is really interesting about the battery life, so with the Nintendo, the version 2 Nintendo Switch and the OLED model, they did improve the battery there to give you somewhere between four and a half and nine hours. A game like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom would probably get you more towards four and a half hours of battery life before it needs to be charged. I've personally never really had any battery issues. I mean, if you're out and about playing your Switch more than we'll just say five hours in one sitting before you can get to a charger i mean that's a lot of gaming so greatly improved i'm not really sure what that means whether or not they're talking about six to ten six to twelve um what that range might be on that battery life but i i, I would be surprised to find out 
that the successor to the Nintendo Switch spent a significant portion of their development trying to improve the battery life, because I don't know that that was necessarily an issue in the first place. A 120Hz screen refresh rate leaves the door open for 60fps. It's still to be determined whether or not we're going to see that, but it definitely opens the door for it. And then of course, again, talking about $400, that's not particularly news, but we did cover that previously, so you've already got my thoughts on that. All right, and like I mentioned in the introduction, we may have gotten a release window that was leaked to us. So I'm going to use the Digital Trends here article, although there's many outlets that are covering it. And the original press release has been modified based on the information that they claim to have. But the interesting thing here is that Altec Lansing explained in a press release, the innovative gaming software AI Shark is set to mark a significant leap forward in the gaming experience, bringing enhanced gameplay for beginner level users. The official launch is planned to coincide with the Nintendo Switch 2 in 2024. And you might be able to decipher that this is incredibly interesting because Nintendo has not announced that they are releasing the Nintendo Switch 2 in September of 2024. That would be brand new news. So certainly that got the internet a buzz. Now, there's two ways to look at this. They either, yep, they just leaked plans and, you know, they might have some insider information and, you know, whoever's giving this press release kind of just slipped the tongue. But again, this is an official press release. These things normally go through several levels of scrutiny. Anyone worth their salt would know that the Nintendo Switch 2 hadn't been announced. So unfortunately, I think what this comes down to is that this is a sensationalist piece of news they use this you know quote unquote leak of the nintendo switch to launch window as publicity got us to kind of take a look at ai shark and get its name in the news because if they had just submitted a press release and they had it added you know with coincide with the nintendo switch 2 i don't think it would have reached a quarter of our eyes unfortunately i don't know how much we can believe this but given all of the information the rumors the amount that the nintendo switch 2 is in the news right now i do feel pretty comfortable saying that we are getting the nintendo switch 2 this year is it september probably not but it is certainly likely that we're going to have the switch 2 by the holiday season this year so those are the major reports detailing what we think we know about the Nintendo Switch 2 that we believe is planned to come out later this year. Thanks so much for watching, I do plan on covering more Nintendo Switch 2 news as it comes out. I try my best not to just be a simple rumor peddler, but when things start to add up like this and we get more credible reports, I do plan on covering that. So I hope you see my future videos, thanks for watching.